All right, guys, I'm getting ready to do our menu plan for the week, and I thought I would share it with you. Um, I think I told you before that on Thursdays, I usually do the menu plan, write out the grocery list, and clean out the fridge, you know, get it ready for the grocery shopping. So this is what I do. I have this book right here, and it's like a, it's like a scrapbook. And usually on Thursdays, around dinner time I'll sit down with my family and we'll make out the um, the menu plan for the week. Um, sometimes I do it without them but usually I do it with them and whenever we can't think of something that we want for the week I just give them this book that I've put together and it has some pictures in it of dinners that we've had that they've liked. So I just print the pictures out and put them in here and the name of it and if it's a recipe that I don't know that I've gotten from somewhere then I'll put that in here too. So I think it makes it easier with the pictures when you can't decide what you want. So they'll just go through here and pick out pick out some dinners. We still have a lot of room to fill up but so I do that and then I have this and I showed you guys in my um, what do you call it home management binder and this comes from the site called life as mum and this is just for the month and sometimes I do it week by week and sometimes I do it for the whole month but for this week, it goes to, it goes from Thursday to Thursday. I think Thursday is the last dinner I'll have on here before I need to go food shopping again. So I take this and I have this grocery checklist, which I got at simplemum.net. Um, I don't always use this. Actually, I hardly ever use this. But I took this out to show you guys what you can use. I have an app on my Kindle that I use most of the time for the grocery list. And if I don't use that, usually I just write it out. But there's so many of these that you can print out for free online. You just type in grocery checklist and tons of them will come up. So I'm just using this one to show you. but. What I do is I go over here and so Thursday's dinner is all set and where are we? It will be Friday. So Friday I have shepherd pie, which is spelt wrong, I just noticed. That's lovely. Um, with homemade bread. The homemade bread I have well I made I made a couple of loaves of it, um, probably about a month ago and I freeze them so I just take them out as needed and I know I have one left so I have the bread and the shepherd pie I need mashed potatoes hamburger and cream style corn so I'll come over to my list and I will put that stuff on the list um, here's one ground beef I don't know if you guys can see that and you know my cream style corn and potatoes for mashed potatoes um usually i have the weekly flyer for the grocery store i shop at but for some reason i must have forgot to pull it out of the paper and i don't have it but they usually send another one today in the mail so usually i have that and i just skim through that and look at the sales and sometimes I try hang on guys okay sorry about that guys that was the dentist and I needed to reschedule uh, what was I saying the grocery flyer I'll go through that and you know sometimes I'll work our menu plan around the sales and sometimes I don't but 
when I have an item that I see is for sale and it's on my list, I'll just go over to my list and I'll put a little S and circle it. So I know that that item's on sale and to, to look for that. And then I have my coupons here that I try to find for whatever we need for the week. And then on the list, I'll go over and I'll put a C next to it and circle that so that I know I have a coupon for it and remember to check it and use it. So that is how I do our menu plan. And actually, it seems to work really good for me. That's everything. All right. Hope this was helpful. Any questions, just leave them in the comments. Thanks, guys.